Hey guys, this is Trevor from Gadget Wraps. This is the installation video for the original Pebble Full Clear Protector. Now for this installation, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need the Full Clear Protector 2-pack, obviously. You'll need the bag that came with your order with the card inside. Leave the card inside of the bag. You'll need a microfiber cloth, a towel, or the inside of a t-shirt. And you will need either a spray bottle full of water or a bowl of water. It helps if you have one drop of dish soap um, in the water. It helps to have the screen protector slide around the surface of your watch. This is a wet install. Do not try to install this dry. You'll have terrible results. So the first step is you're gonna take a microfiber cloth and clean off the surface of your watch. It's really important that the watch is completely clean of all gunk and fingerprints and anything that might prevent the screen protector from sticking to it perfectly. Now this is not a permanent screen protector. This is something that you can remove at any time without damaging the surface of your watch. So don't worry about that. Next step, take your spray bottle or bowl of water and wet the surface of your watch, the outside of the screen protector, as well as the inside of your hands. Now the screen protector is like a contact lens. It only goes one way. So pay attention that this is the top side and the part that is peeled off is going to go face down on your pebble. So once that's peeled off, put it in your hand and spray the inside of it. And then very carefully place it on the surface of your watch. Once it's on the surface of your watch, you're gonna use your fingers to adjust it and make sure that it's completely centered. You should see a little bit of a, an edge on both the top and bottom and the left and right, so it's completely centered. Once it's centered, you're going to use this card inside of this bag as a waterproof squeegee to get the water out from underneath the screen protector. It helps if you hold both sides with your fingers to make sure it doesn't slide around. You're going to very carefully, not very hard, but you're just going to kind of guide the water out from underneath the screen protector. Now if when you put this down it's uh, it's slid off or it's not centered you can just lift it back up spray it and try again. So this right now is installed. It's not finished, but it's as good as it's going to get for the next five or 10 minutes. Um, there's going to be residual water that's underneath in the form of bubble, bubbles that you can very gently push out. And that's why it helps if the water has a little bit of soap in it. So it really is easy to slide out from underneath the screen protector. And don't worry about the four arms or legs or whatever you want to call them. They will not, they won't bond to the front of the watch until this thing is completely dry. Sometimes it can take as much as 20 minutes and you'll be s sitting here like there's no way that these arms are going to stick down because it's they're not sticking. And then literally like five minutes later, they'll just stick. So as long as you're not sliding this thing around. Just try to get as much water out of it as possible and let it air dry. Once this is completely dry, see how the, um, the edges aren't down, the arms aren't sticking down. Once it's completely dry, you literally will just touch down the edges and they'll completely stick. Right now they won't because they're wet. Sometimes it can take as long as 15 to 20 minutes for this thing to dry out. When it's drying, just leave it on the table, come back to it, and just keep trying to stick those arms down. But while it's still wet, you can very easily slide this thing around a little bit if you, can see, if you see that it's going over an edge, or it's not completely centered. You want to use this part of the watch as well as the sides to 
line up the screen protector. So that's pretty much it. So in about 20 minutes, the edges will be completely dry and you'll be able to stick them down. Any additional bubbles that you may see, you can try to get them out right now, but if you give it 24 to 48 hours as far as getting all the additional bubbles out that will just evaporate through the screen protector, um, you can wear the watch in that time. We don't recommend swimming with it or showering with it yet. Once it hits 24 hours, it's going to be a lot harder than it is right now. It'll look kind of weird right now. You got to trust us, this thing. We've been selling it for three years. We've sold 20,000 or 30,000 or something. So trust us, we know what we're talking about. This thing will be rock hard in one or two days. Um, it may be a little bit weird until then. Uh, give it a couple days before you, you know, think that you screwed up the installation. But even right now, it's starting to dry out and harden. So yeah, so that's the installation. If you've completely screwed it up or something went wrong, go on our website, just www.gadgetapps.com slash contact and send us a contact form. Um, we are really nice. We want everyone to have a great experience. Please don't go on Reddit or the forums or any of the other places that you would go. Um, just give us a chance to help you out first and we will do our best to make sure that you're happy. But yeah, just give us a chance to help you out first and we would really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. If you have any additional questions, head to our website, www.gadraps.com. Uh, if you're wondering about this strap that I have in this video, this is our 22 millimeter uh, silicone strap with quick release pins that we make for the original Pebble, the Pebble Time, and the Pebble Time Steel. We also have one that's in 14 millimeter and 20 millimeter sizes for the Pebble Time round. So thanks for watching.